super cold. They'll curve. They'll just move. They're like water. They'll move to where the pressure is. Yep. Yeah, we can hang <laughs> quarters right decided, underneath that. Yeah, we could. I decided part of the way through there was not a better way to say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sixties go, so we should be able to find. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what, 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 what. Well, hey, those one -on ones are unique. Yeah, that's know. right. <laughs> <laughs> the first morning, because they were wanting a real typical heart-shaped kind of buck, and I told them I'd shoot that thing over a typical buck any day. That evening, they. They decided to shoot it. Mm -hmm. I think my favorite buck is Core 77, but it's just beautiful shape, yeah. you know, just perfect shape. Truth be told, I've never actually seen an antelope on this ranch. Just kidding. <laughs> you just got a strong suspicion they might be yeah, here I sometimes. Just, I just feel like yeah. they have to pass through here someday. He's good. I don't know. He goes forward, but I, it's hard to tell how big. I'm gonna get yeah, my because even when on. you see the windmills, they go like this. Hey, I'm gonna get my spotting stick on there. Yeah, he, he's a good buck. He just he doesn't have much curl on top. He just kind of, he, he hooks in, but he doesn't go down any. Yeah, there's just, a, prongs aren't that great. He's got some decent length to him, but I just don't think he's going to quite be what we're looking for. Adjust that any way to move those in and out. Then turn that if it's blurry for you. All those antelope popped up down here now. Right, I'll wait on him for a minute. You see that darker brush yep, yep. and a little bit of light under it? Just yep, head straight yep. for that. Exactly, huh? exactly. That's what I would yeah. do. Okay. Start out from right here and go? I would. Okay. Yes, sir. We'll do it. Hey.
to your right. Right. To your right. Two hundred. I kept watching yeah. that body. I kept I kept watching you because I could see him right here, and I'm like, he's at 137 <laughs> for me. But like, so he's got to be a hundred from you. Oh my god! And so I, I just kept watching him, and I was like, all right, shoot him. He's broadside. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong yeah, one. That's all right. And then he he took off. He kind of yeah. He caught shot my wind. And then he came around, and that's when I I was. <laughs> trying to tell you like he's 200 yeah when he was broadside to your right he was 200 there. from here so he's probably yeah. 160 from you when he was out there i could see that but when, when we was down there when he took off and ran he yeah. was around 250. Hmm. the wind came and hit me right in the back of the neck and he just turned that's what he was trying to get it yeah. was the wind he was trying to get the wind you want to shoot this this monster right here he's, he's coming up to check his no out. he's about that big <laughs> i know, I know. <laughs> the big one's over here he like he He's still right there. Well, the guys he's, he's, kept looking ahead of him to see if he was going over for does or something because usually they don't do something like that. I couldn't believe he came up here. I know it. And here I had my attention. Once he made that move down, that's when I lost it. Oh, yeah. And the other one kind of popped up right under where he was. I could see his back, so yeah. I kept watching that. And then you're saying to the right, it can't be he's right down there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he hit that and came right, uh, right over bummer. there. That's all right. Yeah. Bummer. The day is young. Came right to us. That was a gift. <laughs> that was a gift. A gift that wasn't taken. <laughs> uh, you just tell him we're shooting a muzzle loader. We have to have him a lot closer than that. So don't burst his bubble. <laughs> yeah, he's a good one. You really want to keep that one in, in this area for your buddy. Mm. Yes. <laughs> I figured you'd enjoy that. <laughs> he wants you to be on all fours walking around. We plan to do lots of like B-roll okay. segments to like lead up to the hunt. So we're going to have you yeah, doing lots of fun stuff with that hat on. All right. Sounds good. I should have brought my, my <laughs> Scree Bermuda shorts. Yeah, I mean, I, I've got them back at the hotel. But he, but he says blackmail starts next month. Yeah. <laughs> The blackmail smarts when I need it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Whenever it's convenient. I, I told you yesterday, it's lucrative if you run it the right way. Uh -huh. I didn't know how to run it the right way. I've stayed pretty successful. <laughs> <laughs> made it work that way i could crawl and the hat didn't fall off and then i'd have to pick it back up and they're wondering they're like what's that antelope over there keeps losing his head <laughs> just giving you a little preview of what's going to happen to you <laughs> Yeah. 
Look what a good guy usually says. <laughs> prongs go yeah up the front of the horn the prong goes straight up like that and then he, then he curls, he curls off, of off of it no he he won't get three under there he just yeah he just not quite not quite what we're looking at good looking buck deceiving that poor animal like that <laughs> Like, not, I swear there was, there was a big old brown cow there, and all of a sudden now it's a big old white puff of smoke. Oh, dang that hurt. It's very deceptive. <laughs> Let Eric lead, and we kind of get it at an angle so that if he does see, we're in this line for him. Yeah. Yeah. Cow. We'll probably not pop the cow up till we get, till we get closer. Till we get closer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I just try to get down there. Quickly. Yeah, all right. We've been after this antelope for two days now. Uh, we chased him, not chased him, we kind of worked with him for all morning long and got on him in the evening and he gave us a slip again. Today, uh, my son Eric managed to pull his cow decoy out and get us in and real close to him and he didn't know what we were and he met uh, Mr. What is it? Uh, 250 grain. 250 grain. Shockwave. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and here he is. He's a beautiful animal. Classic. Gorgeous, gorgeous buck. Love it when a plan comes together like that. And you got to use what you can. Plenty of black cows here, so the black cow fabric decoy worked perfect. Just right at a 100 yard shot. Chip shot for a muzzleloader. Letting you do any work, Aaron. Apparently. This is what makes it different than a high power rifle. <laughs> <laughs> 
150 grains of powder. And try doing it laying on the ground with your foot used as a prop. Yep. And do the whole thing. And try to do it in under 20 seconds. Yeah. I average about 20, 21 seconds. Let me reload. And hopefully it's only one out of 10 or 20 times you have to do that. Heavier, good prongs. It's it's him. It's I think this is the bigger of the two that of the twins. Good. That would be good. Ah, uh, huh. Somehow he did the switcheroo on us. Sure enough. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's for sure him, isn't it, Aaron? Yeah. That's the bigger of the two. Or did you say you don't think it is? I, I, I do think so. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, it really does look like it. Just gotta get the cow up and just kinda get the cow up and just kind of slowly move slowly a little meander bit to the right, a little bit to the left yeah That's not the skinny tall one. That's the heavier one. Yeah, that's a lot of black. I said, I think that's him. He must have went and grabbed the just doesn't look quite as tall as I remember yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. And sure enough, and he's with the narrow skinny 16 incher <laughs> with four does right here. What in the world? Yeah. <sighs> but yeah, just right over this hill on the dam is the wide one like this. I saw him walking across there. He came all alone? There by himself. He, okay. he was behind he all the others. I saw that too, but I didn't And he put walked the across on. and he went back behind the dam and the tank. And then I saw him start to come down. There's about a dozen antelope at that tank. At the pond. Yeah. At the pond. And I can't see, I couldn't see them in there. <laughs> and we couldn't see that water from the top. I'll bet you they were down in the water yeah. at yeah. the pond. Yeah. We, yeah. we didn't see that. And now we circle back over here. There's a dozen antelope. The, a lot of them went back this way, which is good. Yeah. He's there with his same four does, pushed them back underneath the fence, ran off another buck that looks similar to him, just a little smaller. And then this wide one shows up. Jeez. We we need to put the spotter on this one that's trying to come towards us. Yeah. yeah. So we put this back in. Yeah. Where where did it go? Oh, in in the backpack. Got this other tank. Come here.
You got it. I gotta go forward a little bit. I'm not high enough. <laughs> He's down in the water. Got him. Got him good. All righty. Well, <laughs> nothing like bringing it down to the wire on day three. <laughs> day three, chasing bucks, trying to get close enough with the muzzle loader. Wind's blowing 30 miles an hour. And uh, I mean, we, we made the sneak. It's just this wide open country, sometimes a little bit tough, but man, we sure got him. Yeah, we did. He shot the one I wanted you to shoot too. Yeah. In the end. Yep. Hey, the cameraman always gets his way in. Right. This would go down and retrieve him. I like it when there's no blood trail. <laughs> I, think we, I think we can get this one. <laughs> we can find him. <laughs> Might need a bottle of water. All righty. Oh, look at that. You can tell where he's been fighting. He's got. Yep. He's just missing chunks of hair here. Look at that. Chunks of hair out of him. Fighting. You get so many bucks together, but man, good old New Mexico hunt. Pretty buck. Pretty, pretty muzzleloader buck. All right, we uh, we pulled up the right up, parked up right by this water tank, and and we knew uh, at the end of the day, bucks would probably come down and drink a little bit of water. So we we're gonna sit and wait. There's a group of bucks running does, bucks fighting. And sure enough, this guy came in just right on a string, just ran right down the hill, right to water. And we were able to bail out, get set up on him right at 100 yards exactly. And got him right on the edge of the water, made a real clean shot. There he lies. Right, into day three and a real fun hunt here in New Mexico. Got one down yesterday, day two, real good buck. And come down to the wire, less than two hours to go. And it, uh, the wind picked up, the bucks are pretty wily running all over and we just found ourselves in the right place at the right time to get super clean shot and dropped him right on the spot. So another fun trip in New Mexico.